for the past couple of days, I've been um, eating this. I'm not even going to say the name of it because my son is here. I don't want him to have it. I've been eating this. Um, that's raisinets. It's uh, chocolate with uh, raisins. And I mean, I don't eat a lot of it. Maybe I'll take one or two every now and then. And uh, it's showing in my face. I have a lot of uh, pimples popping up here and there. Um, I don't know what medical people says about chocolate or whatever it is doesn't give you pimples. But the minute I eat any chocolate, it doesn't take long for it to show in my face. So, uh, but for some reason, it's always on my face, not no other places. So uh, there's something I usually make that uh, uh, you know at least I control the amount of sugar and things and that in it. So um, I'm gonna make it myself. So while I'm making, I decided you know let me uh, record it and uh, whenever I have time, I'll put, you know I'll edit it and uh, put it on YouTube. So what I'm gonna use is uh, coconut flakes. There's uh, this one I started using. I have actually a couple uh, bags of them because uh, I always uh, wanted to eat some sweets. So whenever I want to eat sweets, I do these. So I have a couple bags of these. So I'm going to use uh, coconut flakes and uh, brown sugar and uh, pistachios. I mean, I have a couple bags of pistachios also, but um, I have one that's open, so, but I didn't want to spill anything. So, um, these are the ingredients that I'm going to use. So, pistachios, brown sugar, coconut flakes, and one cup of water. So, I'm going to put the water in this skillet. I like to use this skillet to uh, this pot to do this because it gets hot really quick and uh, it tends to uh, cook the thing faster. So I'm gonna put my uh, one cup of water in the pot. So let me use this one. It will be better. I don't want the front one. So I'm gonna let it uh, the water boil a little bit. I mean, I don't really need to let it boil because I want this to cook, uh, uh, the coconut to cook a bit. So I'm gonna put the coconut, and uh, I'm just like I said in my all of my previous cooking uh, videos. I am not that good with measurements. So if you wanna try the same ingredients you could calculate your own measurements and uh, you could let me know what's what but I just I like to eyeball everything so I'm probably gonna use uh, this this half of coconut and I'm gonna open the other one um, probably get 25% of it so a total of 75% of uh, a bag I didn't open it fully so So I'm going to let this cook a little bit and uh, once it starts bo boiling I'm going to lower the heat. So let me put this away and I'm going to use a fork. So I'm going to actually half of the bag is good enough for the one cup of water. So I'm not going to put my sugar in yet because I want this to cook a little bit. So I'm just uh, spreading the coconut thoroughly in the, uh, in the water. So while this is cooking, I'm going to put the sugar aside for now and uh, 
I'm gonna use the open coco um, pistachio bag and I'm gonna peel some of the pistachios. What I do is that whenever I open a new bag, I put it in this container. It's one of those uh, protein uh, containers I use and I just keep it to put my, you know, things that are loose. So I put my uh, pistachios in there. I mean, you could use any kind of nuts if you have uh, uh, peanuts or sunflower seeds. You could put that in there, but I have uh, pistachios, so I'm going to use pistachios. See, my uh, coconut is cooking. The water is hot, so I'm going to lower it because I really want it to cook a bit. And I'm going to put another cup of water because once it's cooked again, when I put the sugar, I'm gonna need it to cook a little bit longer again. Yeah, one more cup. So I'm gonna put this aside, and uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna peel some of the uh, uh, pistachios. And I probably will stop the video and then when it's when I'm doing the next step I will uh, show you what I'm gonna be doing so um, I'm letting the uh, coconut cook and um, probably gonna let until the water kind of dried out then um, I'll add another cup of water with the sugar and one ingredient I forgot to mention that I'll be adding later on with the sugar is cream of uh, tartar and uh, that will help uh, I think decrystallize the uh, the sugar so I'm gonna probably put a teaspoon of this with the sugar um, and a little bit more water and I finished peel some of the uh, uh, nuts that I want to put in it and I mean I could add more if I feel like I need more but um, for now that's all I'll be putting and uh, another thing that you could put in it is either raisins I have some raisins and uh, and I have some dried cherries I mean it's either one or the other um, I'm gonna use the dry uh, cherries because uh, I think next month is gonna be expired so I wanna <laughs> finish use that so I'm gonna put the dried cherry later on that's after everything finish cook and um, and I'm not gonna cook the uh, the nuts either it's after everything is cooked the sugars in it um, so and uh, it's almost like when you're eating um, uh, what's that candy call um, Snicker balls. I love snicker balls. So uh, I'm gonna put this on the, with the coconuts, um, but this is not gonna be cooked. The only thing that's gonna be cooked is the uh, coconut. So I'll put these aside, and I'm gonna put my raisins away because I'm not gonna use it. I just wanted to show you guys. You could either put raisins or whatever other things you like to eat um, in it. So I'm gonna use the the cherries instead, the dry cherries. So I'm gonna let this cook. When it's dried out, you know, I'll come back again and I'll show you what I do next. So I have my uh, coconut still cooking, and um, you know, there's still a lot of water in there, and uh, I really, it, it, it's I don't know how to explain this, but. I could still feel the coconuts a little bit uh, hard so um, I'm just gonna let it cook a little bit longer and then I will be back to it again alright my coconuts is dried I mean sort of dry but it's much better than before um, what I'm gonna do now 
is I'm gonna put sugar into this water and I'm gonna control the amount of sugar that I'm gonna put by pretty much tasting it so I don't want it to be too sweet I'm going based on what I feel like uh, I want it to be so it's gonna be based on your preference if you want it to be sweet a lot so you put the amount that you want to put so let me grab a spoon right now this is being slow cooked I put the fire very low and uh, you know I let it cook very slow let me put this spoon here for a second so I'm just gonna sweeten the that's one cup of water in here originally I put two cups for the um, coconut to cook and that was half of the bag of the coconut so now I'm gonna put the sugar into another cup of water and I will be tasting it to see uh, how sweet it is and I don't want it to be too sweet and pretty much uh, brown sugar is, is not that sweet at all usually you put uh, unlike white sugar a little bit of white sugar is really sweet but brown sugar you have to put a lot to uh, for it to be sweet at least in my opinion I don't know if it's just me so that's what I think so I'm gonna turn this and then I'm gonna taste it to see how sweet it is and if I like the amount of sugar that I put and that'll be it and if I want it to be a bit more sweeter I'll put more sugar and still my coconut is still cooking let me taste a little bit I mean it is sweet but let me add a little bit more I don't like to open the bag too much because unless if I'm going to put the rest on something else I just open it just enough to get the sugar out and then I'm going to seal it back in so you know if it falls I don't have to clean clean up after so I just open it just enough for me to get the sugar out so there it is again and like I said I didn't really measure it I'm just going by taste so if people watch some of my cooking video if you're looking for measurement I'm sorry I just eyeball everything so the only thing I could give you is just one cup of water and then I put the sugar in the cup of water and then I taste it to see if the amount of sugar is in it is sweet enough but I don't want it to be too sweet that's the thing Okay, let me taste it now. I mean, I could add a little bit more, but I think it's good enough. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix it with this, and I'm going to let this cook again. Okay, I'm letting this cook. There it is, more sugar, more water is in it. And I'm gonna let it cook slowly, not too quick, very slowly. And then um, I'll just come and check on it. And then when it's cooked, I'm gonna take it out. Okay. Add some ah. of. Okay. I took the spoon out, I didn't really use it. Actually, I might use it for the cream of tartar because I put the sugar already and if you want you could add a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of um, vanilla extract to let me do that just for taste and cinnamon is really good so I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon see there's my cinnamon just a little bit of cinnamon not too much A little bit of vanilla extract 
When I'm doing anything that's sweet, I like to add the stuff in it. I should have showed you guys in the beginning all of my ingredients, but I just thought about it while I'm cooking this. And now I'm going to stir, you know, get everything all in. I'm going to let it cook. This is probably going to take about an hour to cook because I really lowered the uh, fire very low. So far it's already been an hour. I stopped the video but it's been an hour since it's been cooking. And this is how it looks. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oops, too low. This is how it looks. Very dark. Okay, it smells really good. And to help uh, so the sugar don't crystallize in it, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, cream of tartar. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. Oh, sprinkle a little bit off. I probably want just teaspoon. You know what? I wet the I should have opened this and get it in there. Let me get another spoon. I want a dry spoon. You know what? I have my measuring. So I'm gonna put, I don't use these often. I have them, but I don't use Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. So I'm gonna open this. Get half a teaspoon of it. There it is. Put it in there. That's for the sugar to be, I think, how do you say it? Decrystallized. I don't want the sugar to be crystallized in there. So this is going to help it. And now I'm mixing it together. And I'm going to let it cook. And when I come and check it on it again, I will turn on the video. So I'm checking it again and right now it's really cooking. It smells really, really good. If you try it, you're going to see how good it smells. So right now I'm going to let it cook until it's almost like a caramel liquid because now the sugar is in it. Um, it's still like watery and uh, I want the liquid in there to look very, uh, I don't know what's the term for it. It's like caramel kind of texture. So it's still not ready. And uh, I will be checking on it again. And this is how it looks actually, this is really hot. This is how it looks. Uh, right there. It smells really good with all the uh, cinnamon and um, vanilla extract in there. It smells really good. So I'll come back and check on it again. So I'm checking on the thing again. And now it's done. Nice son. Sorry about the noise. Um, now it's done. There it is. You see it's a bit... It's a bit caramel... Car caramelized and uh, it's ready and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn off the fire and I'm gonna take my baking pan and I am going to take wax paper wax paper <laughs> just and I'm gonna take a little piece piece and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil let me cut a piece of paper so I could spread it now the olive oil is just so the thing doesn't stick when I'm removing it 
just a little bit and then I'm going to spread it. I don't know if you guys can see, I put just a little bit of olive oil. I don't know if you guys can see it. A little bit. There it is moving around. This water actually is for something else I'm doing for my son. Um, to, let me turn it off and I'll get back to it. So now you see there's the liquid now is caramelized. You see it's very, it's not watery any, anymore. I mean you could see it. It's almost like a sugary, thick texture. So now I'm going to put this on the waxing paper. That's the coconuts. Because if I leave it, it's gonna, it's gonna get stick. It's gonna stick to the thing. I'm just gonna spread it. Put it over here so you can see better. I'm just spreading. See all the. My son is making a lot of noise right now. Just gave him a shower. Mark, don't do that, please. Because I blocked the kitchen, and there's two ways you could enter in the kitchen. Um, one, I put a gate. On one side I put a gate, on the other side uh, the opening is too big, so I, we had a door that uh, when we were fixing something in my house in Pennsylvania and I put it down here and I put it to black the other side of the kitchen because this little guy touched too much. So now, so he's banging his bicycle on it, don't do that. Now I'm going to put the nuts, the pistachio. Um, I didn't cook the pistachio, so I just take it out of the shell, and I'm just going to randomly put it wherever I want to put it. this just gonna cover it and then I'm gonna flatten it a little bit more if I want I could put it in the refrigerator not the freezer the refrigerator and let it cool but I'm not gonna eat it anytime soon hopefully I don't try to taste here and there but I could control myself. I'm not going to eat any. So I'm just let it cool, um, you know, outside. Um, I'm just going to put it over here for now. Right there. Mommy, mommy. I'm just going to leave it here. And then that's it. That's the way I make my candies when I know I'm going to be eating. Uh, you know, I have the tendency of snacking on those uh, raisinets. I'll make this so I don't have to snack on them because I break out very easily with the chocolate any kind of chocolate so now I'm gonna make my son something to eat I think that's why he's making so much noise but I am done with the uh, my coconut snack with I don't you could give it any call any name you want I guess coconut snack with uh, pistachios so this is it that's how it looks when it's done you don't have to put any any of these in it any nuts any 
raisins or dry cherries, nothing. You could just eat it with just the uh, coconuts. But I like the texture of the uh, of the uh, of the nuts, the pistachio. So that's why I put it, and I definitely put a lot. And that's it. And I'm just gonna leave it out to cool. And uh, if by the end of the day I decide to take some or cut it or you know, I'll record it and show it. But otherwise, that's it. So it's been like an an hour or so since I last record this and I just ate lunch and I wanted to see how this is because I want to take the videos out from the camera and upload them on my computer so I wanted to cut this a little bit just to show you how it looked when it cools down a little bit and I'm just gonna take a little piece I just ate lunch so I'm not really that hungry for anything um, so this is the coconut um, I put this out just in case it was fully hardened but it's not I mean if I want I could put it in the fridge but I don't really want it to be in there um, so I'm gonna cut a little piece and show you how it is and then after that I'm gonna upload it and my computer and if I have time today or sometime this week I'll probably post it on YouTube so it's not fully ready yet but this is it so I'm gonna taste it it's really good it's not too sweet it's perfect because I didn't put a lot of sugar in it see there's the caramel it's really good um, so I'll, I mean I probably will be the only one eating it so once in a while when I feel like eating some sort of a sweet that's what I'll be eating and all these are healthy the nuts are, oh this piece just fell so all these are healthy fats and the coconut really good so pretty much that's it I just wanted you to show you how it is once it's a little bit cooled down but it's not fully hardened yet so the longer you keep it if let's say if I had put it in the refrigerator it would be much harder but I don't really want it too hard that's why I leave it out so that's it thanks for watching